I am Dr. Sharjeel and today I would like to tell you how to determine cup disc ratio because a lot of students find it confusing. So in the first picture there is absent cup. You can see all the healthy neuroretinal rim covering the disc area. So that's absent cup. Now in the second patient uh, you can see uh, 3 of the 10 area of the disc uh, that is cupped. So it is a normal cup disc ratio which is which is 0 0.3 cup disc and now in the third patient uh, the cupping has enlarged the central area is the cup and the surrounding area is the healthy neuroretinal rim so i would like to call it a 0 0.7 cup disc ratio in the third patient i would like to check glaucoma in this patient and now there's the fourth patient advanced cupping you can see the disc is hollow in the center and there is just 0.1 if you divide the circle into 10 only 0.1 area has got the neuroretinal rim 0.9 so this is cup disc ratio 0 0.9 almost full cup disc now how to determine this well for that I would like to draw a circle now suppose this is optic disc which you are examining now you take it as 10 circles divide it into 10 circles now that's the ninth circle so if the cup is enlarged up to this circle that is cup disc ratio 0 0.9 now that's the eighth circle you should equally divide it as I am drawing so it will be a little bit more or less now that was cup disc ratio 0.8 and now that is cup disc ratio 0.6 then cup disc ratio 0.5 and so on so we have divided the optic disc into 10 circles of equal size thickness and when we measure the cup disc ratio we check vertical cup disc ratio not horizontal horizontal can misguide you because temporally there is lot more cupping in routine so if the vessels are arising from the center of the optic disc and the whole optic disc is pinkish in color and there is you are unable to appreciate the cup like in our first picture then the patient has got absent cup when you get absent cup you should rule out hypermetropia in high hypermetropes there is absent cup you should rule out disc edema papal edema impending vein occlusion all these things you should rule out absent in absent cup disc drusen now if there is a cup which encircles the first the inner most three lines like in most of the normal patients we get cup of such size now then we will call it cup disc ratio of 0 0.3 now that's a healthy like in our second patient we had cup disc ratio of 0 0.3 Now it should not be round on all aspects. You have to check the vertical cup disc ratio again and again. I am stressing on the vertical thing. Now if you add two more lines to the central three lines, now it is almost half of the circle. So half of the circle is 0 0.5, 0 0.5. If you know maths, 
now if you know the maths it's a 0 0.5 half circle is 0 0.5 so it is a cup disc ratio of 0 0.5 similarly if you add two more lines it will become 0 0.7 i have shown you in the third picture the 0 0.7 cup vertically so that's how you determine the cup disc ratio and how to confirm sometimes the paler will mislead you but from where the vessels arise from where the vessels arise from the disc that's the point from where you measure the cup like here now that's the cup disc 0.7 so now take another example that's the optic disc and that's the cup the nine circle cup so it is cup disc ratio of 0 0.9 just one part of the circle out of 10 has got the neuroretinal rim healthy neuroretinal rim that we have highlighted so that's almost full cupped advanced cupping or 0 0.9 cup disc ratio so from where the vessels arise and the vertical cupping that is important now that is cup disc ratio 0 0.9 and that's the arrow the vertical elongation is very important in glaucoma so that's cup disc ratio 0 0.7 and the above cup disc ratio 0 0.4 so i hope after watching this video you will be able to determine approximately the cup disc ratio thank you very much